been planning to repot my willow oak. I've had it in this pot for quite some time. You can see the inside. I grew this from seed, but it was inadvertent. So just to show you this, you can see how kink this trunk is. When it when it grew out of the seed, the acorn got stuck right here. And I've done the best I could trying to correct this, but it uh it got this curve in the trunk before it started growing up straight and it's just been permanent because it sat there for so long. By the time I realized this tree seed had sprouted, it had been quite some time and that kink in the shell in the uh, trunk became permanent. But I've had the willow oak in this nursery pot for some time. I even tried a trick that I did with another one of my trees where I it had a flaw in the trunk and I set it on top of a wooden block. It was the last tree that I I just repotted. So I set this one on top of a rock and it did not it did not uh, fix the kink the uh, what did happen is that the tree just grew straight up and this tree had really gotten itself in this pot, let me tell you. And do what I can to get it out. So this is the rock that I set it on, hoping that it would correct, but it, it really didn't. So this was sitting, I set it on here back, back when I put this tree in this pot on top of this rock, the kink was, was not this far and it basically, it did not do what I wanted it to do. So. Even the, you can see here the mat of roots is down here. And I'll be just cutting that off because all this did is it created this really long tap root. And there are no radial roots. And I'm going to tell you that I, uh, I probably will not cut all that off. Let me leave this set here for a minute. So I'll be, I've already gotten this prepped to go in here. bin and it'll be staying in this bin for quite some time put a little bit of its soil that it's been in so here is 
the acorn that it grew from right there. So, let me get this plastic out of here. I love this tree, I tell you. Um, I'm very concerned about cutting all of that off. I'm gonna leave these alone. I'll do a little detangling. here and there it is so my little experiment didn't work the way I hoped I actually thought that the root mat would form there on top of the on top of the um, rock but it didn't So I will fill in this hole. I'm not even going to try the, the rock again. pretty interesting that the tree was still connected to the acorn. I'm surprised I found that. Uh, it really thrived pretty good. in this bin it will have plenty of space and plenty of time to develop its roots. Okay. And there's when I cut off. If I can get a good look inside. There it is. And it's new home and that's my willow oak so hopefully it'll
produce some new roots and get the next leaves, those oblong leaves. All right, have a nice evening.